Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of uh, Revit MEP by BIM Technologies. So in this episode we will be talking about the fabrication parts in Revit MEP as we learn how to load the fabrication parts and the services. We'll also learn in this session about how to add the fabrication parts for pipes and then in the next video we'll be learning about how to add fabrication parts for the ducts so in this video first of all we will see what how the fabrication parts are installed and how you can start working in fabrication part directly from the design so there is a concept here in Revit MEP called design to fabrication. So design to fabrication is the concept where you can convert your design that is either a duct or a pipe into a fabrication part for detailing. So we'll be covering those parts in, in this video and in the coming video. But first let us see what is the workflow of starting the fabrication part, loading the fabrication parts and then how to add different fabrication parts for pipes. So you, you have this analyze the systems tool here, systems tab here and here we have the fabrication panel and we have a fabrication part. So with the fabrication panel we can see there is a down button over here. So if we click on this we have the fabrication settings. Now in the fabrication settings we have to configure the fabrication part that means we have to bring the content so how to bring the content you have to load the content from the Autodesk website with your account and then the content will be available now this particular fabrication settings consist of three tabs the fabrication configuration the connection indicators as well as the fluids so let's go with the fabrication configuration so we in for this video I have loaded the Revit MEP Imperial 2.5 content and the fabrication profile is set to global now here in this you can see that the moment I load the configuration I have got two tabs the services tab and the parts now let's see one by one so in the services there is the ductwork in the there is a column called unloaded services and the loaded services so you have to select this services from the left hand side of this panel and then use this arrow key to add to the loaded services so here what we are basically looking forward for is for the piping for the so we can get the piping abs loaded similarly we can have the piping dwv pvc 40 DWV soldered we can also go with piping portable water services so these are certain things that I wanted to have for the piping Al other than that we have the services for ductwork for the electrical busway cable tray ladder cable tray and so on now there is go to the parts over here choose the parts tab and then click on the items so we have this items for electrical containment which have a generic folder and then in the generic folder we have electrical equipment and hanger. Similarly for HVAC we have a generic folder here and then we have the assemblies, equipment, hanger and sheet metal component. And for the mechanical piping we have the accessories, we have the assemblies, drainage fittings, hangers, pipes, pressure fittings, valves and so on. So the, if you click on the valves, you see that the different types of parts for the valves like the port valve, three port valve and so So these are certain parts which are loaded here. Okay, let's go with uh, the pipes and let's say we go with the schedule 40 ABS pipe. Then we have, so we can load the schedule 40 ABS pipe and let's say we can go with the pipe here so this is the part that we have loaded and we can go with the drainage fittings we have the cast iron or you can have a schedule fittings here the PVC click the schedule 40 folder and then we have the different types of fittings that will come so you have the cap socket loaded Y 
reducing bend and so on so so with this you have the services which is loaded and the parts and now you can choose the ok option now as you draft a path let's say the design path so once it is getting loaded how can we use it so for to use it we need to activate the palette so we'll see how it can be done so there are two ways by which you can start the fabrication journey one is converting the existing pipe to the uh, fabrication part or directly adding the fabrication part let's see how we can do that so click on the fabrication part to activate the palette and then we have this different options here say let's say we go with a piping DWV so PVC 40 so we have got different services which is can be seen here and the parts let's say schedule 40 cap socket and so on so in order to get let's say a PVC schedule 40 DWV pipe you can directly click on it and bring it here in the drawing screen so the moment you click here you can see that the pipe and there is a <coughs> menu that is there along with it tooltip so it says space rotate up arrow toggle connector hide or show the tooltip so you can click on here and then you can keep on adding the pipe as the journey goes so let us select the pipe and see now the moment you click on the pipe you see there is a connector which is derived so this is basically let's see the property is a coupling hub x hub default now let's see the how we can change the pipe so it's a reference level see it's a diameter is 31.8 mm so you the length option you can have automatic length so if you go with the automatic length the length reduces to a particular value so you can go with the manual length you can click click on the pipe and then you can select it you can drag it and draft the length so if you want to change the diameter let's say let's say we here we have the insulation type and so on so here we have this different kind of product entries you have let's say if you have a 14 so you have a different value so it says that you know the fitting could not be fit so okay fine so if I change the fitting let's say if I decode uh, disconnect it and change it to a different so you have a product so you have got different types of products in this particular fabrication so you have got so the moment you change you can see that you have got different value over here the length option the fabrication setting services is this one and also you can edit the part so if you click on the edit part option you would see that <coughs> there is a length the value is given over here you can change the length to 3 meters so this is how you can change the value of the pipe along with this if you want to add any connector or let's say if you want to start adding the pipe network you can directly go let's say I wanted to have a kind of so I bring the fitting here and it fits to the pipe over here and if I want to give a slope to the pipe I can always have a slope 1 is to 50 so it changes you can see the elevation value so this is the fabrication parts you can see will start working along with so let's let's go with the the 3d view let's see what is the 3d view looks like so you go to the 3d view of the plumbing so you can see that here let me have a shade option and we'll go with the fine option so you can see that this fabrication parts here and apart from that you want to give some parts over here let's say you can always add different sockets so other thing that you can see the routing option here it's very interesting to see let's say if I bring a socket here and I place it here and then if I want to click right and say root and fill so if I click here the solution will be created I can see the solution is created and you have this so if you have a pipe let's say if you create a pipe so it will show you the 
how you can uh, you know create how you can join them let's say if you go with root and fill and if you connect this pipe you see that it is not getting connected because of the different specifications it has so if you click right here and you can uh, you know you can see the service in the part browser it will show you the what type of and you can also rotate it with the help of the rotate option so so there are many ways by which you can create now let's say if i want to have the you know the the part that i ha have to create let's say i want to create a pipe from this particular connector so i can select this schedule 40 pipe over here and then start connecting so let me go with the schedule 40 pipe here and i get the connection so this is how um, you know the fabrication parts and apart from that you know you can convert an existing pipe to a fabrication detail so how do we do that let's say if i have a pipe if i create a pipe through normal piping tool let's say i take a plastic pipe here let me take a plastic pipe so there is a concept called design to fabrication so you have this you create this pipe and this is a design in design you have this pipe and then later on if you want to want to add the fabrication detail to it so let's say you have this pipe which is running so i'm just removing the tag so this is a design this is not a fabrication pipe so i can select the pipe and then i have the option here in the context will tab that you can change into a fabrication part so let's see here we have so there is an option called design to fabrication so if you click here so and then it will be changed to a fabrication part so this is how the design to fabrication can be done now you can see here in this particular exercise you know the pipe has been converted into design to fabrication let's take another option let's say if i create a pipe here and uh, and i rise it high 4 meters or 7 meters high so press apply and come out of this so i want to convert the entire pipe into a fabrication design to fabrication and it is converted into the fabrication so it talks about the diameter you can select the diameter you can see that and if you finish it the the fabrication is done it's so easy and convenient in revit so that you can convert your entire design into fabrication hope you have liked this video stay tuned for the next video for fabrication for ducts and stiffness thank you